the year 2022 is based on for you and me whom God has gathered here in a, in a very weird but amazing way it's not it's not an error that you found me online and you're here it's based on the two scriptures Isaiah 43:18 to 19 and then Proverbs 13 and verse 20 and in a nutshell all that God is telling us you and me individually is that he's doing a new thing he says forget the past he's doing a new thing what does that mean you know I was asking God what what book sh shall I read just before the year and God took me back to Genesis and I'm reading Genesis personally so and he told me you know what Genesis is the new thing the new beginning the Bible says in the beginning God Oh, that's the start of the Bible. Like there was nothing and God made something new. Then he reminded me, if you read Revelation, he says, I'm going to create the new world. So the beginning in Genesis is going to be repeated. When the end of the world, this wor present world passes away, God is making a new earth in a new heaven. So the beginning will be repeated in the end, something new. And that's what God gave me that theme and I'm reading Genesis. But I came here today to tell you that Isaiah 43, 19 says, God is doing a new thing. Please carry this with you for 2022. The last couple of years, you know, things have happened. And God is, is saying, do not carry those. There is a disappointment that happened to you in the past. There is a death that happened in, in the past there is a loss that happened in the past but God is saying really really for the year 2022 this is the year that he's gonna do a new thing so for you and me whom God has gathered here God is just giving us this message it's one day before year end we need to enter the year with the right word and right direction do not carry anything of 2022 2021 and the other years to 2022 we have this habit of carrying things over carrying the past carrying the failures and weaknesses and and the sins and the guilt and sorrow of 2021 enough of that guilt enough of that sin enough of that weakness enough of 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 satanic attacks of resistance enough of 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 2021 god wants to bury 2021 you know what jesus met he, jesus met someone going to bury someone and told them let the dead bury the dead you know what that means let the past be past that person is gone god is a god of the living Let, let's move on he was not against burials but we can interpret that now for us who are here for 2022 let the dead bury the dead let let dead be let bygones be bygones let 2021 be bygone let's look for something new god is in the business of 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 new things now i want you guys who are with me here online grace my friend fairies think of something new what do you want new from god new car new figures in the bank account it's okay new health new spiritual insight new way of thinking new peace renewed peace new joy new h-a-p-p-y new happiness what do you want new new sleep because some of us have not been sleeping very well new health What's that health condition that has kept you over 2021 and you have the prescription, you have the drugs getting in 2021, maybe you're scheduled for prognosis and diagnostics and all that. What do you want new from God? God is not a God of the dead. Have you read that in the Bible and wondered what does that mean? It means God is not a God of the past. He's able to create new. The world we are living in, God woke up and said, let's create something new. 
and he's going to create more stuff for you. So God is not running out of ideas. God has not run out of materials. God has not run out of, of, of new things. And why I came out here today is to tell you and me that God is telling us to get in 2021. He's doing something new. We have to anticipate. You know, we, do you remember when we were young, Grace and, and Ferris, when the, our daddies and moms used to come in bread because bread was something. When mom or dad was out in town, we were waiting in anticipation that dad would bring a bread that smells good, even the smell, and, or mom would bring some bananas from the market. We, we waited in anticipation for the parent to return with a candy. Well, we used to call them KSL those days. But look at Christians right now. We lost that child, inner child in us. You know, we want to be adults, you know. We're not excited about God anymore. Like, what's God going to do? The same old pastor will come here and say something. Life will go on as it was. No one has anticipation. And Jesus said, if you do not receive the kingdom of God like a child, you will not enter into it. Huge challenge. Guys, we need to be Go back to a childlike attitude of expecting God to do something new. Expecting God to bring that bread home. Expecting God to bring bananas. Expecting God to bring candies for us. We can become adults or familiar with God now. Like, oh, hi, hi buddy, I know it's going to be the same. The sunlight will come. Day will be winter, fall, autumn. Summer will come, it will not rain in January, in March you'll have some rains, I'll go about my business. That's a very bad position to be in. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? We need to anticipate. And when God says, 2022, I'm going to make something new. And there is something that God has show, showed me today, uh, that's yesterday, that is very, very profound. When God called Abraham, to move and to go into a place that he did not even know, but he obeyed. God carried, uh, Abra Abraham, that time he was Abraham. Abraham carried Lot. And I was researching in my Bible to see if God told Abraham or Abraham to go with Lot. And he did not. <laughs> it was a decision Abraham made by himself. Act if you go back to the Bible, actually, God told him, move out from your people. Forget about everybody. And I, I, I was believing, I think God just wanted Abraham to take his wife, Sarai. But a Ab Abraham just thought, let me just carry this niece of mine. Was it nephew of mine? He, he added him into the mix, but that was not God's, uh, God's liking. And what happens is a little later, he has to carry him to Egypt. They have to come back. And then they, 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 they're the, the, the man, the, the hearts man of both sides are st striving. And there is a commotion. And Abra Abraham tells him, just choose one side. You know, he brings a lot of strife to, to Abraham. That's a huge fight. Why? Because he carried the wrong person. When God tells you, don't carry, just move out from your kindred, your family, you move on. Abraham carried this person and this person became a thorn in the flesh of Abraham or Abraham because you see after the strife they separated and we understand from the Bible that when he God was a little bit silent you know if you read from when he comes to Canaan he built three altars one at Sechem the other at uh, Bethel and the other at I think uh, Mamre or Mamre he, he builds the three. Then there is a famine in Canaan. He goes to Egypt. God does not speak much for Abraham. He doesn't speak much until when he is separated from Lot. You realize that some we, we got to lose some people. Guys, we've been friends with some people we are not supposed to be friends with. We call them BFF, but they have not been BFFs. There's been just a vehicle that Satan has used to bring us down. Satan has used to bring depression, disappointment, bad feelings, bad memories. Some people we've been calling friends, they're not even supposed to be in our lives. And this 2022, I just came here to remind some of us here. God is doing something new, but he doesn't want us 
to carry the lots with us. And he's only going to speak when we are separated from Lot. Lot, Lot are the, the kind of people we think they're friends, the kind of people we think that we need them and we have to be in their lives or they have to be in our lives. But they just, they're just a thorn in the flesh. They just mess your life and your marriage. And you and your wife or husband are fighting because this person is in the mix. You think he should be in the mix. And, and, and he's messing you up. He's asking for money when you and your wife doesn't have money. And you end up giving him and then you fight with your wife. Or your wife gives money to this person he thinks should be there and shouldn't be. God calls you alone. If God needs people to be in your life, he's going to bring them. I'm repeating, if God needs people in your life, he's going to bring them for you. Some of the people we have carried, it was not God's will. Some of whom we call friends or circles of, of, of ours, they're not supposed to be there. Guys, I'm going to I'm going to convince you because I, I saw this very clearly from my Bible. Lot is fighting with Abraham. And they have to separate. And God is speaking to, 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 to Abraham. Now he called him out and tells, tells him, look around and see this plain. You in the plain of Mamre. He saw this vast, vast plain land. He tells him, walk around. I'm going to give this to you. What's Lot doing? Lot goes to the best site where he sees water and he sees Sodom and Gomorrah because he likes the city. After that fight is over, it was not over with Abraham. Sodom and Gomorrah is attacked by five, uh, is it five? Five kings and is beat up. And because Lot is on that side, he gets carried, carried away as well with all his wife and his children. Now, Abraham comes to learn that his own niece has been taken captive. Now he has to fight a war he was not supposed to be fighting. <laughs> Guys, this is profound, I'm telling you. Abraham now is, has been pulled into a war he should not be fighting because he was safe on his side. But now his niece that he carried and went to the city because he loves the city has been taken captive. He has to fight. He takes his 318 men. But listen, I have something profound here. God gave Abraham three allies, three friends. If you have read your Bible, you realize that God, on the, on the side where Abraham was, he gave him three allies. It's not Lot, his family. It is not his friends. It's new people that he met from, from that side near the Oaks. He has three friends. And these three friends join Abraham and his 318 servants to go get his niece, his nephew, I'm sorry, Lot. He goes, we know how the story goes. He fights the five kings defeats them, and brings all the goods. Listen, another revelation. As he's coming on his way, he meets Melchizedek, the king of Salem. He was a king and a priest. This is Jesus. This is a typical typo typography or, 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 or a Christ-like figure who was Christ, so we understand. And this, this changes Abraham's life. Why? Because the king of Salem, Melchizedek, tells Abraham, he reminds him, you know who fought for you that war? It's not your 318 servants. It's God, the possessor of heaven and earth, who delivered the kings to you. He quickly reminds Abraham, it's God who, 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 beat, the, who, who beat up the kings. It's not his men. It's not his allies. So because God, Abraham... Abraham had the grace of God. That's why he defeated the five kings. You know, Sodom was wicked and God did not mind them being beat up. But now, because Abraham brought in this fella, or fellow, he brought this fellow who is not supposed to be, he's now drawn into all kinds of war. But because he has the grace of God, God defeats the king and brings back the, the Sodom and all the wives. So what, what are we, this is just a story of Abraham that we're we are learning from. A great man of God, a prophet, the beginning of faith. Now, what about you and me? We are so weak spiritually. We, we have friends, we call friends. But they, they, they are simply vehicles Satan is using just to, to, to involve us in financial problems, family problems, 
all types of trouble. Some people we call friends are, are just vehicles to ruin our business, to ruin our, our, our marriages, to ruin our careers. They are friends, but not friends. So 2022, God is asking us. And I, that's where, where I want to bring Proverbs 13 and 20. It says, if you walk in the company of the wise, you will be wise. But a companion of fools will be destroyed. So who are you surrounded with? Who, who is surrounding you? You know, some of us actually, some of us are surrounded, but we are lonely. You know what I mean? You, you go, you might find that you have a huge following in social media. I've seen people with a million followers, but they're the most lonely people. To be surrounded does not mean that you're, you're guarded. You know what I mean? And God is, doesn't look for numbers. God is not looking for, for, for you to be surrounded. Because you and God, me and God, you and God are the majority. It doesn't matter the other side. It could be the 7 billion people in the world. But me and God are a majority. And what God does is He sends the right people to assist your destiny. And it's not the likely people you've been thinking. It's not even family members. It's not even your friends. God, if God wants you to prosper, He'll bring an unlikely person. Not the people you call friends. The people you call friends will likely be used by the enemy to destroy you. Look at Abraham. God brings three choice allies on the other side three men who goes to him to war and he wins you know what i mean it's not lot lot who is the family member was not there to fight he, he was actually a victim of the war so i want you to, to just rely on god not to try to find you to find friends for yourself to surround yourself with people when you see someone oh that can help me you see a politician oh i want to be friends with him he might help me when i have a a, a fundraiser he, this person can help me connect and I, I don't mean that I, I mean that's bad but what i want to say is when god you're walking with God, like Abraham. He sends allies, unlikely allies, who are going to help you. And in the end of it, you don't say, oh, it's my friend who helped you. You, you, the, you can only credit that to God. So I want to bring in this message that I, I brought tonight. Two things I want you to, 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 to go and assess. How many people have you walked with time immemorial that are not supposed to be in your life? I think it's time to, to sit down and evaluate and say, Some, this is just negative, negative. And, and you know what? Do not be afraid to cut people off. Do, 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 don't, be, don't, don't play Christianity and I'm super spiritual, this kind of a guy. <laughs> Jesus himself, among the 12, he had three inner circles. That when he did, when he went for transfiguration, he just carried three. The, the, the very inner circles. Not everybody out of the 12. Because he knew out of the 12, he said one is the devil. I don't know, I, but, I, but, I, but I feel like it's time to evaluate who is surrounding us and whether they really need to be there, whether they deserve the attention we, we give them. I, I, it's, time, it's time to be realistic and just love them from a distance. Pray for them from a distance. Some, some, some people you need to let them say you're proud. Let them say this guy is so proud. I don't know these days he's not. Let them talk. Do not be worried about man's talk because man, man's opinion doesn't matter. God's opinion is the most important. So do not carry the baggage of some people in 2022. Do not carry we must be brutal. We have to, to cut off the list of some of whom we call friends. We, even some family members. We, we need to, to cut the constant communication, you know. Like, like it's just strife all the time. The, you, like constantly thinking about them. And, uh, you, you know what I mean? Some people just drag you. You have to be wise and ask God who needs to be in your life. Just make sure you're not you're not offended. You're forgiven, people. You're praying for them. That means your 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 heart is free. But you don't need to be close to some people. But but if if we think we're better than Abraham, we should, we can learn from Abraham's story, and what Lot caused him. 
even to get him out of Sodom and Gomorrah. It took an angel, man, to push him, get out now. He was not willing to. And his wife, really, even when pushed by an angel, she still wanted to look back and, and just miss the place and stuff like that. So that's what I'm saying. You, you, you do not carry some people in 2022. Let's ask God to do something new. We need to make heaven and make money. I also want to bring that theme that this year, I, I, I want to label this year 2022 as a year of distinction. The year of distinction. Like, you will see people being separated. Clear separation. Some people will make it, some people will, will not. It, it's very, very clear. Now, the age of, of, of community and being, you know, the, the media is talking about let us be a community. Not in the spirit. In the spiritual realms, people will be differentiated. They'll be different. One will be in the same house, making money. First, making heaven, because we have to make heaven. But on this earth, we still need to make money. So this year, you and me, you who is on this broadcast, I prophesy to you that this year you will make heaven and you will make money. In Jesus' name, receive it, receive it, receive it. Make heaven and make money because we need money for God's kingdom. We need money to make a difference in the world. But we need first seeking the kingdom and money will follow in the name of Jesus. But what you will see, just all you need to do is this. Walk, take this to the new year. That God is doing a new thing and it's springing forth. Number two, walk with the company of the wise so that you can be wise. The companion of fools that you have walked with, it's time to let go. It's time to let go of Lot. He, he, all he will do is involve you in a strife. He'll be friendly for a year, but a year later, it's strife. It's war. You'll get involved in wars and financial problems you were not supposed to be involved because of Lot. Trust God to send you allies, the three allies. It's better to have one ally from God. Better for God to send one person that will magnify your strength and hide your weaknesses than have a hundred people surrounding you. You think you're surrounded, but the moment your weakness strikes, they'll be the first one to go on social media to... to, to, to to show you know how you fail oh look at kate look at kate look what happened to kate now kate is drinking if you get that slight weakness they'll be the first one to magnify your weakness we don't need such people we need people who hide our weakness and bring out the strength in us let that person be one person that god sends me and let a hundred people who we call friends and acquaintances and and, get, and people who smile at you they're not really smiling. The Bible says it's better a righteous man strike you, rebuke you, than fools come and, and give you nice words because you, you will die, my friend. You will die. Being surrounded and people sending you nice comments, they, they will say, oh, no, 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 no. You know, let me use Kate. Kate is my best friend. And, and I know she understands. Kate, people say, oh, she's doing good. God bless you. God. But in the heart, it's like, oh, this person, she's the only one who makes it. What's wrong with me? They're, they're, they're outside peace, inside war. So do, do we really need some people? It's time to reevaluate 2022. Do not carry the guilt of yesterday. Do not carry the sins of yesterday. Do not carry the weaknesses of 2021 to 2022. It's over. Do not carry the weaknesses of 20. Do not carry lots, friends, uh, some people. We do not need them. You need only few God-selected uh, 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 allies. And you shall achieve your destiny. They will bring the best out of you. Get Whomsoever God has sent you, we need people, guys. I, I'm not here to say we don't need people. We need people. Whomsoever God has brought to you, keep them close. Keep them close. Pray for each other. You know, bring each other's strength out and pray for one another. And be one strength, each other's strength. We need such people. They will help us make heaven and they'll help us make money. So I'm here just to say that, that that's the message that God gave me. We need to, to, to sit down and see who is on our side. And is it of God or is it me 
And this has nothing to do with family or anything. It doesn't matter. Some people, we need to cut them off. We need to cut them off so that we can achieve and accelerate. And what will be happening to the world is the direct opposite of what I said. We are anticipating as children new things. The world has nothing new. The world is exact. You'll see the exact opposite. They will be doubling down on the past. What happened in 2020, uh, 2020 2021? This year is a year of doubling down. They will... They will because that's what that's where Satan and, and, and his world and the worldliness is going. They'll just be doubling down on the on the past of 2021. But we can't we can't go, we can't follow them. We can't follow them and be just criticizing and fighting battles that we're not supposed to be fighting. You know, fate is not always confrontational. Fighting, fighting, let's fight in Jesus' name. Sometimes you need not to fight. You need just to be quiet. You need just to run away. Sometimes it's just run off. Jesus ran off at some point. He would confront people. But at some point when they came, he would run away. Just sneak and go. Don't always fight. We, we, the, the world will be doubling down of yesterday. But we are called to do the exact opposite. So don't be stressed out. The world is doing this. The world will do world, man. But it's up to you to, by faith to move into the next year. What a message, what a message. Year 2022 is a year of distinction. You will see distinctly two people having different destinies. You'll see Abraham prospering on one end, but Lot will be kidnapped. Lot's wife and his goods will be taken by Satan, but Abraham will be, will be, will be prospering. This is a year of distinction. As long as you know God, you'll do exploits. As long, long as you understand the word of God, that God is doing, carry these two simple things with you. God is doing a new thing and anticipate day one. Fast before the, the first week, the beginning of the year. Fast and say, God, I am expecting something new. Expect. Tell God what you want. What do you want? What new do you want? Do you want a new car? Do you want a new house? Do you want a new spiritual level? Do you want a new bank account? Do you want a new clothes? What do you want that's new? God has not lost any ability to bless you with anything you need new. Don't say a new spouse, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, but don't say that. I need a new spouse. <laughs> Anyhow, so anticipation of God doing new things and knowing that it's not God's ability that's a problem. It's our expectancy, our expectancy that is that is so shallow. You know, we don't expect anything from God. And he said, he, he you can't ask for bread and he gives you a snake or a stone you can't ask ask for a fish and he gives you a a snake you know god is saying what what you ask he'll give you like i'm expecting god for for for, for a bunch of stuff huge stuff I, I need god to do a lot for me he's not limited i'm expecting number two what we talked about today expect expecting god number one expecting god to do new things in accordance to isaiah 43 18 and 19 number two Proverbs 13, 20. Check the company you are keeping. It's time to remove lots in 2022. It's a year of distinction. Year of distinction. The world is going to double down on 2021. So we have to be different. That's why God is, is giving us Isaiah 43, 18. For individuals, for the world, hmm. People will be stressed. Those people who are waiting for things to change in the world, they're not. There is just a doubling down of, of the past. So that's why we have to go on the on the on God's side and accelerate and make money make heaven and make money. We are gonna make money. God has given us the word for 2022. It's very simple, but it's very heavy. Think about it. Expect new things. If you don't expect how do you want God to force it on you? He won't. If, if you still insist on carrying Lot, God won't force him out of your life, but the trouble will come. Strife will come. He will he'll involve you in wars you're not supposed to, to, to fight. Except God you know, you know, won it for Abraham and told through Melchizedek, he told him, God, the possessor of heaven and earth, 
fought for you. And that's when Abraham lifted his hand in front of uh, we I know we that, that story is not so much but you can you can if you have a spiritual eyes you can understand and Abraham was was with Melchizedek for a while for him to tithe to give him tithes is because he understood he understood that that's a priest and when he was being blessed by Melchizedek and the bible says that only the higher can bless the lower so Abraham understood that this is a very high person in the spiritual rank he can bless me. He lifted his hand when he was being blessed in the name of God of heaven, the possessor of heaven and earth, and he said, "I swear, I shall not take this spoil because the king of Sodom will say he 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 made me rich." And soon enough, after the meeting with Melchizedek, he met the king of Sodom. And the king of Sodom was happy that all the spoil his wives his goods have come back. And he was telling Abraham, "Take whatever you want." And Abraham told him, "Listen, I have lifted my hand when I met the king of Sodom, the high priest, before God Almighty and said, I will not take anything, not even a shoe, shoe thong or a thread from you because you will say I you made me rich." He understood that God the possessor of heaven and earth was on his side what else did he need the only thing abraham said the three allies i have let them take whatever they want but me mm -mm, mm -mm, keep your things man i have god he possesses heaven and earth i possess it too abraham understood hmm you have god on your side you're the majority when you have christ you have everything i'm expecting too god will do it receive it in accordance to your expectancy are you expecting 1000 are you expecting 100 100000 million 10 million or a billion god made abraham rich and he added no sorrow he was rich in gold silver servants god has nothing to, to, to you know against being rich as long as you're getting it from him you re he refused to get rich from Sodom, spoil. He would have added more to his spoil, but he refused because he wanted to be rich in God. Our money, our wealth, our health, our, our finances, our cars, everything we have, our education came from God. We do not want anything from Satan or from the world. Possessor of heaven and earth, we are waiting 2022. Let me pray for us who are online. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for the viewers who are here with me online and my friends. Hallelujah. That in 2022, in accordance to Isaiah 43, 18 and 19, Father, possessor of heaven and earth, do them good. Do something new. Let there be rivers in the desert. They had a desert area in finances, in career, in health. Lord, let there be water in Jesus' name. Christ is that rock. Let that rock of water overflow. Let there be waters in the wilderness for them. Yes, Lord, remove the companion of fools that we have been following. Satan has been using them. They don't even know they're being used by the enemy to bring strife, to bring heartaches, to bring just a bad mood for us negative emotions father deliver us from 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 the lots the lots that are not supposed to be in our lives jesus i pray that you may bring allies you brought abraham three allies send allies god to change our destiny because we need people on this earth yes lord send allies real allies send wives send husbands send friends true friends heavenly send father in the name of jesus do something new let there be new cars in Jesus' name. Let there be new finances. Let the bank accounts of everyone here change. Cancel every debt, my Lord, and bring us into abundance like Abraham. You made him rich and you added no sorrow. Make us rich and add no sorrow. And above all, Lord, you want us to make heaven, to seek for the kingdom of God. Send for your kingdom, your Holy Spirit in 2022, that we shall go into the ear walking with God, just like Enoch walked with God, just like Noah who walked with God and found grace, that we may find grace in 2022. Make us distinct, Lord. Make us distinct. Let the world know that we are 
yours because it shall be a year of distinction in Jesus name thank you thank you thank you Jesus thank you father thank you for the blessings you're a blessed person and receive 2022 blessings you'll be different from everyone else People will be going down, you'll be going up. People will be going left, you'll be going right. People will be broke, you'll have money. People will be sick, you'll be healed. This is a year of distinction. Can't you see from 2020, 2021, the world is being divided. People have to, people can't hide anymore. If you're a true Christian, you become a true Christian. If you're weak, you just fall. I mean, there, uh, there's a, no thin line anymore. You know, the middle fence is gone. People have to choose. Are you on God's side or not? You know, just like uh, the day of Joshua. Choose this day whom you, you want to, to, to serve. Just like the day of Aaron, when Moses went to the mountain. Who is on God's side? It, it's, we're back in those days where you can't hide now. 2020, 2021, whatever is happening, People's intention and, and hearts have been exposed. That's why God is not silent. Just because God is not talking does not mean he's absent. His silence does not mean absence. Things may, storms may come, diseases, epidemics, like Jesus sleeping on the, on the boat. He was present, but silent. Storms still happen. So God may be silent like, oh, you know, but it's because he is exposing the intentions of the of the hearts of some people you know in the world the very wicked people who rule the world their intentions have been laid bare so it's time for christians like you and me to understand that there is a distinction god's people will be god's people wicked people will be wicked people those hiding in the fence in the middle i think that the, it's, it's gone we have to take sides i'm on god's side i need people you need people but the right people i can't preach to this house i can't preach to the globe behind me I, have to, I need people. People are God's wealth. You're my wealth. I need to preach to people. I need to work for people. I need to raise people. Our kids are people. We, 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 we need people. But then we have to be careful because Satan uses people. As much as we need people, Satan is interested in that area. He'll send all the wrong people in your life. So that's one area we need to be careful. I think we haven't been so careful, but we need to be careful. And very critical and, and cut off some people and, and move in 2022 fresh. You have to remove some people and go light. Drop that lot and expect new things. I think I'm done here. I'm done here and Merry Christmas. It's a little bit late. Blessed happy 2022 with new things go lean go lean go lean don't go fat in 2022 you know what i mean the lots go lean you'll make it god bless you all god bless you god bless you mightily and it's a new dawn thank you i think i'll have to end it here thank you for joining me guys and see you next time thanks